and he has framed this debate that if you criticize him, then you're a part of the problem. So, Christopher, you're right next to me. What do you make of this? Yeah. I, and I understand why people do that, right? There's always been that uh, the, the liberal media bias, right? So it doesn't matter what you say. He's framed it, though, to where you're part of the enemy in some cases. Yes, uh, blame the media is a great political strategy for both parties. You've heard Clinton use it. Certainly Trump has used it. He's belittled a member of the media that has a disability. He's talked about how everything's rigged. You know, and in his, con in his the way that he constructs reality, we are all part of the fix that he says is in. So, I mean, that, so as far as it goes, that works. But the problem far transcends the media. The problem for Trump now is that this past week, more and more Republicans came out and started giving voice to their concerns, started saying things like, you know, I don't know if he can actually be the guy. I don't know that he listens. I mean, the, 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 keeping the debate with the parent, and this is now old news now, but keeping his debate open with the parents uh, the, of the slain hero military officer, the Khan family, he, Trump, kept it going for four days on his own. These are unforced errors. And at some point, you would think that they would catch up with the candidate. But see, Kevin, even discussing this, and here's the problem, even discussing this saying unforced errors, right? People want to take shots at the media, say, oh, you guys just don't like him. You can't even have, you can't even cover him effectively anymore because part of the argument is shut down immediately.